stationary wave which is a result of superposition of two waves traveling in opposite direction now how is, what is stationary wave that we have to learn when two identical progressive wave traveling through a medium along same path in exactly opposite direction interfere with each other then the resultant wave is called stationary wave so let i tell you a diagram here this is the first wave which is traveling positive side of the x axis and i consider another wave which is traveling towards negative side of the x direction when they interfere we get this type of wave in the form of loop and it is called as stationary wave now let me learn the formation of stationary wave when we imagine a string stretch between two support and if we pull the string at the middle and release it then we get the stationary wave now let i tell you simple example this is our two support and this is string fixed between two so when we plug it here then we get this type of wave and it is called as stationary wave you can see diagram here so here this part of the wave having a maximum amplitude and this part is called as anti node so here you can see here n is written here so this dot means having a minimum amplitude this point is called as node maximum amplitude anti node minimum amplitude node now we have to learn equation of stationary wave on stretch string we consider two simple harmonic progressive wave identical progressive wave we have to consider whose amplitude is same and wavelength is also same but here they are traveling in opposite direction that we have to consider now equation of the progressive wave traveling along positive direction is given by this formula so here you can see here in this wave a minus x y lambda term you can see because this is traveling along positive direction then it is minus x y lambda if wave is traveling towards negative x direction then plus x y lambda in the second equation you can see so now it is traveling same progressive means uh, identical progressive wave traveling in negative direction then the equation is given by y2 is equal to a sin 2 pi nt plus x by lambda plus means traveling towards negative side now we have to consider resultant wave resultant wave is addition of these two means y is equal to y1 plus y2 now we substitute y1 here and this is y2 now we have to use a mathematics here so we have to use formula sin c plus sin d so sin c plus sin d is 2 sin c plus d divided by 2 cos of c minus d divided by 2 so this is c and this is the d now let me apply this now i can write here 2 so this 2 is written now here a and a is there in both the terms so 2 a a we are written now sin of 2 pi is common in both the terms so we are written 2 pi common and then this bracket plus this bracket divided by 2 so nt minus x by lambda plus nt plus x by lambda now your minus x by lambda plus x by lambda get cancelled nt plus nt 2 nt divided by 2 2 2 get cancelled in that we can write in the next step cos of c minus d nt minus x by lambda minus this term minus of this term and because of that this plus sign get change into the minus so here so this nt nt get cancelled minus x by lambda minus x by lambda minus 2 x by lambda 2 2 get cancelled minus x by lambda you remember here cos of minus x is equal to cos of x so that's why we are not written here minus x by lambda so you cannot see minus sign here so we get next equation is 2a sin of 2 pi nt cos of 2 pi x by lambda now we rearrange the term and we can write this 2a cos of 2 pi x by lambda into sin of 2 pi nt and this bracket term this term we can substitute as a resultant amplitude so capital a so we get a final formula y is equal to a sin 2 pi n into t this 2 pi n we can write omega also so y is equal to a sin omega t is the equation for stationary wave 
Now here you remember one thing here. If minus x by lambda is there, then it is traveling toward positive x direction. If plus x by lambda is there, it is traveling negative x direction. But if x by lambda is missing, you can see this is the equation for stationary wave. In that x by lambda term is missing, it means that it is not traveling. Minus x by lambda indicate positive traveling toward positive side of x axis. Plus x by lambda traveling toward negative side of x axis. If it is a missing plus minus x by lambda is missing in this equation, it means that this is stationary wave. Now here we can write condition for node. Node means the point where the amplitude is minimum. So minimum means here we can consider zero. So here we consider amplitude is zero. And we have formula of amplitude 2a cos of 2 pi x by lambda is the amplitude, resultant amplitude. We substitute it is equal to zero. Now we transfer this 2a to this side. So we get cos of 2 pi x by lambda is equal to 0. Cos of which angle is coming 0? So you remember the cos of pi by 2, 3 pi by 2, 5 by 2 is coming 0. So this 2 pi x by lambda having a value pi by 2, 3 pi by 2, 5 pi by 2 and so on. By using that we can write a value of x. How we write? So we can write 2 pi x by lambda is equal to pi by 2. This is the first one. Now we can write x. This pi by 2 as it is, we can transfer this 2 pi and lambda to that side. So it is lambda in, uh, divided by 2 pi. So pi pi get cancelled. It is lambda by 4. So here we are written lambda by 4. Next time, so we have to take this value. It is 3 pi by 2. So here, then pi pi get cancelled. We get 3 lambda by 4. You can see here next value. Next time we have to take this value 5 pi by 2. So here 5 lambda by 4 we get. So these are the values of x means distance at which we get node. Now after that, we can write this x formula in term of generalized formula. Here the p is 1, 2, 3. As we substitute p is 1, 2, 3, we get the same term. Now after that, we have to learn condition for antinode. Antinode means point where the amplitude is maximum. Maximum means what? First progressive wave having A, second having a A. So maximum means A plus A, 2A we get. So A is equal to plus minus 2A. Now amplitude formula we substitute 2A cos of 2 pi x by lambda is equal to plus minus 2A. So this 2A we can shift to that right hand side we get 2A divided by 2A, 1. So cos of which angle is coming plus minus 1? It is 0, pi, 2 pi, 3 pi and so on. It is coming plus minus 1. So we get x is equal to. Now here 2 pi x by lambda is equal to 0. So x is equal to 0 into lambda by 2 pi. So it is coming 0. Next time we have to substitute it is pi. So this pi pi get cancelled. We get lambda by 2. Next time we substitute lam uh, 3 pi. Then we get lambda and so on. Now if we see this. We can write x is equal to lambda p by 2. Then if we substitute p from 0. Huh? Then we get these are the values of x. Now these are the values where we get antinode. Now if you see these values very carefully, we can conclude that distance between any two successive antinode is lambda by 2. You can take difference between any two. Lambda by 2 minus 0, lambda by 2. Lambda minus lambda by 2, lambda by 2. 3 lambda by 2 minus lambda, it is coming lambda by 2. Similar manner previously also, in the last article also, distance between two nodes is also coming lambda by 2 that you remember so you can see here 3 lambda by 4 minus lambda by 4 it is coming lambda by 2 so this minus is 5 lambda by 4 minus 3 lambda by 4 it is coming lambda by 2 many time in board exam question is already asked show that distance between two nodes is lambda by 2 then that derivation plus the case of node if the question is asked show that distance between two anti node is lambda by 2 then the case number 2 in this anti node case you have to write take okay, with that distance Sometimes question may be asked show that distance between node and antinode is lambda by 4. Now if you see both the cases very carefully, then the distance between node and antinode is lambda by 4. And so obviously we get this type of diagram. So at distance 0, you can see here we get antinode. Sorry, at distance 0, we get antinode. So we can draw this type of diagram. 
so this is anti node distance is zero then second anti node we get at lambda by 2 and if you see the distances of node then we get first node at lambda by 4 so by that only you can conclude the distance between two anti node is sorry node and anti node is lambda by 4 so obviously node and anti node this distance lambda by 4 minus 0 is lambda by 4 